everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a review of Rihanna's Fenty Beauty perfume, the only perfume that they have released so far. It's finally um, come out here in the UK and I have ordered it to review it for you guys. So I'm gonna be letting you know my first impressions, my review, what I think about it. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this. I review all the new releases as well as whole ranges and do check out my blog as well where I have detailed articles on every perfume you can think of really. If you're a regular viewer do make sure that you hit subscribe. Most people that watch my videos aren't subscribed um, so come and join the community and you can sign up to my newsletter in the link down below. So I think the Fenty Beauty website ships worldwide but I picked this up from Harvey Nichols and you get a free pouch, uh, Fenty pouch and this came with a sample of the foundation and a like body oil, um, butter drop, whipped body oil and a gloss bomb universal lip luminizer. Hmm. So um, I think this has been out for quite a while now, like I think it came out earlier this year and it was launched in the States, but yeah, I finally managed to get my hands on it. I have to say it was quite expensive. It was 145 pounds and it's a 75 ml bottle. Um, so this is the kind of thing I'm talking about when I talk about my perfume Empress. I wanted to make it more affordable. It's 69 pounds for 50 ml. A lot of these like celebrity fragrances are like over a hundred pounds. I think for that kind of price, which is more expensive than like Chanel, I really do want to be blown away. So at first when I sprayed it, um, my immediate impression was that it had an oud in it. Now reading, looking about it, it doesn't say that it has an oud scent in here, um, but I smell an oud. Um, it has rose as its main note, but this is not a fresh rose, like Dolce Rose. Um, you know, this is a deep oriental oudy rose in my point of view. Um, and for me, I think it smells very unisex as well. It's marketed as a unisex fragrance. And I've read online people saying that they don't think it's unisex, that they think it's feminine. Personally, I do think it is very unisex. I don't think it's particularly feminine or masculine. It's a little bit spicy. Um, again, giving it that oriental vibe, sort of ambery, spicy amber rose vibe. It talks about magnolia in the description. Personally, I don't get any magnolia. Magnolia is a really fresh, delicate, um, almost aquatic type of um, white floral, um, almost like a lotusy type scent. I don't get anything like that from here. This is much heavier and I'm sure there is magnolia in here, but if it, you can't smell it because it's completely dominated by the other notes. The top notes are described as tangerine and blueberry. Now, I didn't really get much of an initial fresh top notes. I didn't get that citrusiness. I think maybe there's a hint of the blueberry and the tangerine in a sort of slightly sour amber way. Um, but this is doesn't, you don't spray it and immediately get like fresh tangerine like you do often when there's like an orangey top note. So it's definitely not a fruity fragrance. So they're not really there for me. The other notes are geranium. Now geranium I do get, which is slightly aromatic-y. It definitely adds to that amberiness. And um, it also has musk and patchouli in. Now I definitely smell the patchouli. This is definitely one for fans of patchouli fragrances. I don't really to get that much musk I would get the patchouli so really if I were to describe this I would say it's a patchouli rose with an oody ambery ness to it not how I, I expected it from reading about it before it read like it was going to be citrus magnolia I, I read it was going to be much lighter um, and fresher than this uh, for me this is winter autumn this is quite sexy it's quite raw and it certainly means business one thing I can say is it is strong it's no de parfum and I've sprayed 
one spray and I can really smell it on myself all the time. It's definitely got silage lasting power. It's definitely a good quality fragrance in terms of having lasting power. I think if you love the smell, then you don't have to spray too much and you can rely on it, which is good. The bottle is nice. It's this kind of brown, ambery color and it has uh, the Fenty Beauty sort of logo in the lid, sort of um, embossed, I guess, in, into the lid, which kind of reminds me of like a Japanese, or, like writing or something. I believe that all Fenty Beauty is cruelty free, including the perfume, but not all the products are vegan. And I can't find anything online saying that this is vegan, so it might not be vegan but it is cruelty free. So I would say personally, like this is a good perfume. It lasts, it's strong, it smells expensive, it smells interesting. It doesn't smell cheap, you know, celebrity perfume type thing. So I think it's a good perfume. The smell is not to my taste. It's not something I would wear. I don't like ambery perfumes. I don't like oody smells. But if you do like those type of fragrances, then I can imagine you would really like this. For 145 pounds, you can get similar things to this in like the exclusive collections from different brands, uh, Killian, uh, more going towards the more niche fragrances. You can get something similar. As far as mainstream designer fragrances go, I can't really think of much that is that similar to this. But let me know if you can, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what you think of this. Um, do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's worth the price tag? Yeah, let me know down below in the comments. So I guess it is Soki approved. It's just not something that I would wear. Like I said, guys, in the description box, I'll leave that Harvey Nichols link where you can get the, get it with the pouch with the goodies in free. Um, and I think it was free delivery as well. But I'll also leave the link to where you can get it worldwide too. It's also really different to the Rihanna perfume she released years ago, sort of Rebel, Fleur. She had a whole range of fragrances that were very sweet and very affordable, sort of like, 20 pounds or something. Um, I think they were made by Coty, I'm not sure. I think they were made by the same people that did Beyonce's and Britney Spears fragrances. Um, and those were typical celebrity fragrances. This is totally different to those. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.